we move on to the last question of the exam scheme. This is about the fundamental theorem of calculus. The problems are very straightforward. All of this can be easily solved in calculator. I'll show you one of them. All you need to use the definite integral symbol in your calculator and then type the equation 2 alpha x minus 3. It starts from 0 and goes until to the intervals over here mentioned and that is the answer. Please do try all of these problems by yourselves but I will go to one of the tricky problems. Before going to a tricky problem this one over here exponential. Now let's do it the same method integral to get the exponential you need to press shift and natural logarithm symbol. The power is minus 3 alpha x and then plus 4 and the limits intervals sorry are over here. The thing is you get 5.9004 but the option may not be the same option may not be decimals look over here the answer is not at all in decimal. So how would you check which is your correct answer? So what you need to do is write this answer down somewhere. It's 5.9004 and then solve all the four options which you have. Now I'll solve this one out. It's minus 2 by e to the power 3 plus 6. So when I press SD over here or when I just press equal to over here, I'm getting the same answer when I solve this. So this is the correct option. So only one option matches with the answer. All the others would be wrong. So that is how you do it. Even though we are the same method, you need to, you will get in decimal form. You need to simplify all the options and then check which is the correct answer. Now coming to this trigonometric function. Remember, if your calculator is not in the radian mode by pressing shift mode and four, you won't be able to solve these. So please get them in the radian mode. And now you can type it out as it is. This one is simple and straightforward. You, if you type it properly, you will get the answer, no problem. But I'll do this one. Now here, you don't have cosecant cotangent. Let's write three into, what do you write? We write reciprocal. What is cosecant equal to? It's one by sine. So I write, use a fraction symbol, one divided by sine alpha x over here and close the bracket. Multiply it with cotangent, that is reciprocal of tan, 1 by tan and alpha x, close the bracket. And what are the limits? It's pi by 4, use a fraction symbol first, shift and pi, divided by 4 and you go up over here. It's again pi divided by 2. Now, when you press equal to, you are getting an error. The problem is we are using reciprocal identities. If at all these identities become zero or undefined, you won't get the answer because we don't have an option to directly put cosecant or cotangent or secant values. So what you can do is a simple trick to avoid everything is just multiply these by 0 0.999. Now I know why this has become undefined because of pi by 2. If I multiply just 0 0.99 to pi by 2, it's enough. But still, to be on the safer side, I'll just multiply many 0.99s to these intervals. Why? Because now they are very very close to these numbers but not exactly this number. It's not pi by 2 but it's very very close to pi by 2. Now if I press equal to I'm getting a proper answer. You won't get this exactly in your answers. You need to solve all the options. So it's 1.2426. Here let's simplify all the options. That's 3 minus 3 plus 3 root two and the answer we get matches what we got see more than four decimal places match so that is the correct answer so always remember in order to avoid any math error with the reciprocal identities just multiply the intervals by 0 0.999 same thing over here i'll do this one i've typed this given equation as it is but the secant is not defined in the calculator so i've written one by cosine x squared. Squared outside. If it's cos squared x, that means we square outside. You can even put the bracket over here, but even if you don't put, uh, it's fine. It's understood. And 0 to pi by 4. I know cosine function is defined at pi by 4, so I'll just press equal to the answer is 1, and over here the answer is 1. So that's how we solve these type of problems.
Whenever the intervals are given in numbers, it's very simple. Just put them in the calculator, you'll get the answers. Even over here, it's very straightforward. Instead of x, we have t, but still the answers are just numbers. Here you need to solve all of the four options and match with the answer. For these type of problems, what you do is first simplify if you can. Sine square x plus cos square x is 1. This is the Pythagorean identity. Just simplify it. And now we have 0 to 1. First, let's integrate and then apply the limit. Integration of 1 is basically x. That's it. Now you need to apply the upper limit t minus the lower limit. The answer is t. If you're thinking what happened to c for the definite integrals, we don't because it'll cancel off anyways if we put c as well. We have done the same thing in the written part. So please watch that video over there. Detailed explanation is given. Over here, I'm just doing it quickly. This will cancel off. The square and by 2 cancels off. You have just e to the power x. So now what is the integral of e to the power x dx? It's just e to the power x. Apply the limits. It will be t. Sorry, e to the power t minus e to the power 0. And what is e to the power 0? It's 1. So this is your answer. So this is the way to substitute and solve. It's e to the power minus 1. And over here it's just t. That is the end of all the part 1 questions. I hope you have found all my videos helpful. If you have found them beneficial, please do share it with your friends and please do subscribe to my channel. That would mean so much to me. And I would highly encourage all of you to solve more and more problems by yourselves. And if you have any doubts, any queries, please do post them in the comments and I'll try to get back to you very, very soon. I wish you all all the best for your exams. Happy learning to all of you.